King Cobra's Club, Part 2, The First Prince, Chapter 11, Bryant. I went back to Inez's place to relax. After thinking on it for a while, I decided against calling the other girls for a play date. I honestly didn't want to be bothered with them. It was fun having so many to choose from, but having to satisfy them all one after another was exhausting. Inez didn't ask me why I left. I gave her mental kudos for not being nosy. We run a couple and I was grateful that she didn't nag me. She didn't question me until after we had dinner. Do you miss the others yet? she asked. I laughed. No, not really. Do you? Nope. We washed the dishes together and took turns singing random songs. Inez performed some song in Spanish and of course I didn't understand a word that she said. After her last song was done, she caught me off guard with a random question. Do you miss Jennifer? I almost dropped the stack of plates that I was putting up in the cabinet. What? Jennifer from Human Resources. She asks about you a lot. I think she likes you. Of all the ladies in my harem, Jennifer and Inez have been the only ones to show resistance to manipulation. Jennifer had been defiant on more than one occasion, giving me dirty looks or rolling her eyes. What do you know about Jennifer, I asked, hoping that I didn't sound like I was prying. Inez took the hair sticks out of her bun and let her hair fall. She was married before. Did you know that? Hamill is her married name. Her maiden name was Whitaker. That's all I know. Bells and whistles went off in my head. I didn't make the connection right then, but I knew there was something significant about the name Whitaker.